Hello, my name is Richard Jacobson. I'm the Operations Manager here at the Phoenix Intertech Office under Transportation Technology. Our facility is approximately 7,500 square feet with both electrical infrastructure uh, to support battery testing and full vehicle uh, development, specifically FMVSS and EU certification testing. We also do homologation testing for smaller niche organizations. Here at the Phoenix site, we specifically design the facility in order to handle vehicle electrification testing. Behind me, you can see an AV900 battery cycler, which allows us to do capacity testing, peak power testing, um, also allows us to monitor battery degradation over a period of time. With the improvement of battery technologies, Neighborhood electric vehicles, their popularity is also increasing. Here at the Phoenix site, we do neighborhood electric vehicles or NEV testing to certify these vehicles for public road use. We use different temperature ranges in order to evaluate charge acceptance, typically at zero, 25, and 50 degrees Celsius. Because Phoenix does full vehicle testing, the need to remove batteries from the vehicle is extremely important. The process by which we remove them has to be done in a systematical process in order to not brick the vehicle, meaning not to short out the circuitry or cause faults within the ECM. Once the battery has been removed from the vehicle, we then remove the casing, which allows us to have exposure to the individual cells we then instrument those cells in order to evaluate any thermal events that may happen during charge and discharge. We also actively run coolant through the battery in order to simulate the vehicle, the battery in the vehicle as well. Because Intertech customers have different sample rate requirements and accuracy levels, it's important that we use the right equipment when going to the test track. At the test track, the different events different instrumentation is used to collect data. Because Intertech is ISO 17025, it ensures our instrumentation is up to calibration standards and it meets the customer's requirements. Because we test electric vehicles here at Phoenix, the need for specialized EVSE units is required. We have 36 of these units in order to test a full fleet of vehicles. These vehicular units both sample voltage and current coming to the vehicle. It's important for the Phoenix operation to have quick charging here on site. It allows us to monitor battery technology, uh, quick charging impacts, also with full fleet vehicles, quick charge and to be able to go back on the road. We have two types of quick chargers here on site, a Chatamo and an AC combo connector. We also have a connector that switches between the J1772 plug and the Tesla battery system. Here at our CSET lab, which stands for the Center of the Evaluation for Clean Energy Technology, we have charging infrastructures in order to handle large fleet testing. Behind me we have a quick charger on site and four acres in order to stage from. At Intertech Phoenix, we do full vehicle testing anything from proving ground testing to on-road pre-production and post-production. We look at quality, root cause analysis, and system integration. Our team here consists of high-level engineers that come from the industry.